What's up guys? Has your car been running a little warm lately? Maybe a little steam even? Did you take it into the dealer and they wanted something astronomical for some new coolant? Well, today I'm going to save you a whole bunch of money and show you how to do it the easy way. All the parts and tools that I use in this video will be listed below in the description. Also, check your owner's manual as specific cars use specific coolant. Now let's get started. Today I'm going to be using a 1995 Toyota Previa minivan as a demonstration vehicle for this tutorial. Your vehicle obviously is going to be different, so the fill and drain locations might be slightly different, but the procedure in general is going to be the same. And that's it. Now me personally, I would usually wait for the car to cool down completely, then top off the coolant reservoir and the radiator again, just in case there were some air bubbles caught in the system that came out uh, once the car cooled down. That way you'll have no issues with the car overheating. Also, for the coolant that just came out of your vehicle, do not dump it down the toilet or just pour it down the storm drain. Check with the city, they usually have a list of places where you can take that stuff to go get recycled or taken care of. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. 